Hi Rita, we're here at Sanctuary Lakes, right on the lake's edge, <laughs> overlooking a really nice spot. How long have you been here? Uh, we've been here for about seven years, and uh, before that we were living in the centre of Melbourne, so obviously it's quite a different environment, and um, I enjoy that because it's, you know, you are next to some very natural things, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's nice, I love it. Yeah. And Rita, you transform living next to uh, these lovely pieces of nature here, you transform that into some terrific sort of paintings and yeah. very special work. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your work? Yes, I'm, I'm considered an illustrator as opposed to an artist and um, I paint um, mostly botanical subjects, so I'm classed as a botanical illustrator. Uh, I do sometimes, you know, go into other sort of natural history subjects, but um, that is my field at the moment. And you also do a little bit of teaching as well. Yes, I do. I teach that. I teach at um, the Geelong Botanic Gardens, which is a beautiful place to teach, and I, I teach people the skills of botanical illustration. <laughs> so it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful job actually. I'm really very lucky to have that job. So with all this inspiration around around you, basically on your doorstep as we see here, um, you have some terrific work and it's very detailed work. Mm. Do you want to show us one of the ones that you've mm. done here? Yeah, this one is it's, it's a little bit unusual for me because it's about birds, which is, is not my main subject. And um, this is uh, the honey eater that you see here in Sanctuary Lakes quite often and um, the harkia as well, there's a few of those around here, that's the, you know, the common name for pincushion harkia, so that's him having a go. Um, and yeah. this, this work is extremely uh, detailed, I'm yeah, just it's looking very at detailed, even at the... Very detailed and um, you know, it's a watercolour and uh, it's done with fairly small brushes, you know, pretty fine brushes. Um, and it must take a fair bit of time. Yeah, it does. It, yeah, it does. It, it, you know, there's, there's not, it's not something that you do in a day. It's um, this is something a, like another this. beautiful yeah, piece. Yeah, another, another one. This tree, interestingly enough, I don't know whether you recognise it, but it's, uh, oh, what's it called? I've forgotten what it's called, but it's the main tree that goes right through the boulevard here in Sanctuary Lakes. And it, it's like a eucalyptus little white eucalyptus types flowers but it's not actually eucalyptus and if I could remember the name I'd say it but I can't but there's there are literally hundreds of these trees um, along the boulevard and you see all the the bark peeling off it's, it's one of their features and yeah. the and the birds obviously it attracts a lot of bird life you have a yeah. lot of bird life here. yes we do we're very lucky here on the lake um, I think I'm not sure why it's because we're near to the canal as well but um, you know, sometimes I've looked out of here and you can see six or seven different water birds in one go. You know, that would be herons and um, all sorts of, you know, ducks and coots and obviously the black swans and, and a few other things as well. So it's amazing what the, um, the amount of bird life that's here. And I think that's partly because we're near to um, the wetlands and partly because we're near to the Werribee Treatment Centre. Okay which are great centres for um, migration. And um, so, so we're very lucky here that, we, that you do get some amazing things that are actually quite unusual. In, in living here like you are, just right on top of basically the, uh, the lake, it has a great sense of openness? It does, it does. Uh, I particularly like the, um, you know, the sunsets. And I'm not really up that early in the morning for the, the sunrises, but, um, you know, from here you can see, you know, you can see a long way. You can see the city from here and, uh, you know, some of the, you know, the Mount Macedon, I think, up there. And it's, uh, yeah, it is amazing in that way. You watch the changing skies here absolutely. across the lake. Yeah, that, absolutely. That would be rather fantastic. Absolutely. And, and even, you know, like a storm when it rains, it's nice too actually in its way um, yeah no that's all it's all beautiful in that way and the sunsets sunsets just incredible over this way and the funny thing about sunsets they're always different the colorations are always um, you know 
different, bit of purple, a bit of green, bit of this, bit of that. Uh, they are truly remarkable. Not every night, but uh, quite often. Yeah, yeah. So, Rita, you're summing up of uh, being here at, at Sanctuary Lakes. Uh, mm. You think you made the right move to come? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, we've got a family down here too. I've got some grandchildren down this way, and uh, we all love it, actually. Uh, yeah, we do. There's only one thing, we all know that, and that's about the transport. But other than that, okay. I'll, I'll, leave that I'll leave that aside. <laughs> Rita, thank you very much for your time today, and uh, look forward to seeing some more of your work. And um, obviously we'll be featuring some of this in the residence newsletter. Thank okay, you. Okay, thanks.